What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to be talking about four quarterback mechanics drills you guys can do to improve your game at home. Let's get started. All right guys, so a big part of throwing mechanics, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I talk about this a lot, is your hips, okay? Being able to have your hips loose, being able to let your hips come through before your shoulders, and then the ball to get more torque on the throw, right? They call it a sequence, right? The sequence of the throw should be your front stride gets down, your hips are starting to come through, then your shoulders come through, and then the ball comes through. But if your hips are stiff and you're not able to move your hips, it's gonna, the hips, this is gonna be a great drill for you to do to loosen up your hips every time before you go out and throw. So you're gonna be here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna stay and make sure you're in a good base, nice strong base, slightly open up the front foot and all you're going to be doing is just pivoting your hips or not pivoting your hips but moving your hips separate from your entire body so you're not pivoting your back foot everybody likes to pivot on this one all i need you to do is just be here with your hips so your hips are moving separate from everything make sure your front shoulder stays back it's here and what i have my guys do is when we rotate through we're really trying to focus on bringing your back hip to the middle of your body and opening up your front hip not going like this where you just move your back hip and your leg extends out you're here you're rotating straight through then when you do about four sets of 10 reps you want to flip sides and you want to be here so your right foot's going to be opened up and you can do the same thing with your left hip your left hip's going to go through separate from your entire body what that's working on is loosening up your front hip as well as your back hip. you want your hips to be loose you want your hips to be working separate from your entire body so you can get that dissociation of your hips coming forward shoulders going back which will shoot this ball out of your hand with more velocity and more consistency. All right, guys, before I get into this next drill, I want to talk to you about an opportunity on my website where we break down 100 plus NFL defenses to teach you guys how to read coverages and what to look for pre snap when you come up to the line so you know what the defense is going to do before they do it. We have 100 plus defensive breakdowns where I talk about what works against each coverage, how to identify each coverage. Check out that link in the description that says how to read defenses to get you guys signed up on that. I hope we can get you on that soon. So, this next drill is going to be for the same exact thing your hips, but it's going to be more so for the whole motion of it. So, we call this thing you're going to be here your arms are going to be crossed hands are going to be on these shoulders make sure your elbows are real tight to your body okay so it's going to be off of a hitch then you're going to bring the hands together and go off of a throw so i'm going to show you full speed then i'm going to explain it what this is working is the same thing the sequence being able to keep your shoulders back and letting your hips bring your upper half through so we're going to be here and make sure these two cones are about 10 yards for the sake of the video they're about five start behind the cone it's going to be one hitch hips through reset bring my hands together and throw Okay, so it's putting the whole thing together. When you bring those hands together and throw, I want it to be the same mechanics as before with your hips. Now, the key about this is when you're here and you hitch and you hit that back leg, it's the same sequence that we were just working in that drill, right? You're pushing front foot down, shoulders back, hips are starting to come through, but your hips bring through your shoulders. So your hips are gonna bring your shoulders through. What I don't want is I don't want your guys' elbows to be up here and you guys go like this and you swing your shoulders through because that's the incorrect sequence. And if we do this drill incorrectly, it's gonna make my throwing mechanics incorrect. So I wanna be here. Here. I want to keep my elbows tight and let my hips bring everything through. I want to work about four sets of that two-part sequence, and you want to make sure these two cones are about 10 yards apart. All right, guys, so this is a great drill to work on your backstroke and letting your hips bring your arm up to this 90-degree angle. You do this in front of a mirror. You could do this um, with a partner who's recording you, whatever, but we want to make sure that we're seeing myself when I do this. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to be here. It's going to be a two-part sequence. So you're going to be here, and it's going to be a one, and then your hips are gonna bring you up to here, so two. And you're just gonna be like this, one, two. And you're gonna work on your hips, bringing this arm up to 90. That's why a backstroke is so important. Whether you bring this thing at this perfect L, like a lot of people like to do, whether you're a little bit higher than that, whether maybe you're a hair lower than that, I don't want this, and I don't wanna lift straight to 90, because when we lift straight to 90 and your hips come through, your ball's either gonna dip behind you, or your shoulders are gonna come through before your hip. You wanna get this nice, clean backstroke so your hip drive can bring you up to 90. Your hips will just support the motion, and that will get this arm up to 90 degrees. So again, you're gonna be here, it's one, two and you're letting your hips turn over to bring that ball up to this 90 degree angle. you want to keep that front hand tight if this feels like it's too easy for you you can do this with a light dumbbell to work on the correct sequence of the throw to work on your arm going from here from like point to point right you're here to here and your arm gets up to 90 that knows the ball's turning over so i can get this nice clean release point on the throw you want to work about maybe 50 to 100 reps depending on if you're doing that this is the only thing that you're doing if you're combining this with all the drills that i'm giving you today i would suggest about 50 reps of this sequence all right guys so now we're going to actually talk about throwing the football now and this is a drill to work on your guys's front arm there's a mistake i see a lot of quarterbacks do they like to be here and they'll take the ball back and then this front arm likes to dip down here for power right and this is going to force you to actually use your whole body it's going to force you to use your hips and your legs so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the front side of your shorts here and all you're going to do is just get a nice easy step and throw 
and it's gonna force you to stay square. What I don't want is I don't want you to end up like this. I don't want you to throw and hold these shorts and then end up like this and be all the way back here. That's not what the goal is. The goal is to work on staying square. You want your shoulders and your hips square to this target so you have this nice clean release point so your arm's not out here and so your arm's not way up high if you dip the shoulder because that's the result. So all it is, you're just gonna be here. Nice normal ball carriage, hold the front of my shorts. Just normal throw. Let's focus on staying square, letting my hips and my back leg push all the mechanics that we've just worked leading up to this point build onto this throw. You want to work about maybe four sets of 10 throws, so just 40 throws total of this motion if you struggle with your front side arm. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you guys have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, if you're a quarterback who wants to get better at reading coverages, understanding defenses, check out that link in the description that says learn how to read defenses. I'll see you guys next time.